Hello everyone, Maria here. Tonight I'm gonna have uh, to share with you the sad news about um, the very famous Kobe Bryant, especially the Filipino people. For sure, we will gonna be sad about this news because um, Kobe Bryant passed away this morning at the age of 40, 41 and the sad thing is um, his 13 year old daughter is with him in that helicopter crash so watch this news guys our firefighters hiked in to the accident site with their medical equipment and hose lines to uh, extinguish the uh, stubborn fire as it included the brush fire debris from the helicopter and the fire also included magnesium which is very hard for our firefighters to extinguish because uh, magnesium reacts with oxygen and water. In addition to our firefighters hiking into the incident, we had one helicopter flying to the incident with firefighter paramedics on board. Those paramedics were hoisted down to the incident early into the uh, incident. Um, they did a search of the area for survivors. Unfortunately, all the survivors on board were determined to have been perished. Uh, firefighters and hand crews worked to extinguish the fire while carefully preserving the mm -hmm. incident for investigation. Um, currently, this investigation is still ongoing. I would like to turn this over to my sheriff to continue the press briefing. And we've established a, a containment area and now our Aero Bureau has a handle on traffic or um, aircraft accidents, however, when there's a fatality, then it switches to the National Transportation Safety Bureau, the NTSB, and the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA. The FAA is already on scene and assisting. We're waiting the arrival of the coroners. Until the coroner has made the identification through their very deliberative process, and they've made, made notifications to next of kin. And it'd be extremely disrespectful to understand that your loved one was perish and you learn about it from TMZ. That is just wholly inappropriate, so we're not going to be going there. We're going to wait till the coroner does their job, and we're assisting the families of those who believe they've been impacted, and it's a, it's, a, it's a tough process. And our hope goes out to all of the members that were on board, all the family of everyone was on board this aircraft, and uh, God bless their souls. So at this point in time, we have nothing that we can add until the corner does her job. Kobe was a father, a husband, an NBA legend, an Academy Award winner, and he was also an icon, and he's gone too soon. We're joined by Jalen Rose, ESPN NBA analyst, and Jalen, every single guest we've had on, from Spike Lee to Gary Payton, people that admired him, people that played with him, we all asked them the very same first question. What's your reaction? This is a, a devastating day for humanity. And I know Kobe Bryant was one of the top basketball players of all time, but he was educated. He was a gentleman who spoke multiple language, multiple languages. He was a father, he was a husband. He was really disciplined and hardworking. He was a guy that had perseverance, somebody that I got a chance to meet when he first entered the NBA. I was living in Los Angeles, getting a chance to be in the gym with him at UCLA earlier in his career. I lived in downtown Los Angeles for a long period of time, basically had a place in Los Angeles his entire career. And uh, playing against him in the 2000 NBA Finals, watching him get his first NBA championship and covering him as a me member of the media basically for the last 20 years. He was always gracious and respectful. He was always uh, the smartest guy in the room and the hardest working guy in the room. And uh, it, 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 it graduated to later in his career, we know about the historic 81 point performance and it, it, it uniquely now positions me to feel like I'm, I'm an opportunity to take the floor with him at any point of his career but for one of his more notable moments, um, being at appearances with Kobe. I got a chance to speak at his basketball camp. He was so... So much more than that, particularly in the business community. Ask them about their relationship with Kobe Bryant. Ask them about the wisdom that he imparted.
brought it upon them. Ask them about when they all went to Beijing for the 2008 uh, eight Olympics and what have you, and the kind of things that he talked to them about, and he religiously talked to them about, and how it served as an inspiration for them to go and extend that level of wisdom and knowledge to other people. This was who Kobe Bryant was. It was who he aspired to be. He wanted to motivate. He wanted to inspire. He wanted to make a difference far beyond the basketball court while still reminding you that when it was his time, he did all he could to never cheat himself, never cheat the Lakers organization, never cheat the game of basketball, never cheat anybody from getting exactly what they expected from him. An all-out effort in pursuit of a level of excellence. Conditions at the time were very foggy. One of Kobe Bryant's four daughters, 13-year-old Gianna, also reportedly killed in that crash. Kobe Bryant, an 18-time All-Star and five-time NBA champion with the Lakers, one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Jonathan Hunt is in Calabasas, California with the latest there. Jonathan? John, the city of Los Angeles and indeed the entire sports world in utter shock today at the news that just before 10 a.m. local time this morning, the helicopter carrying Kobe Bryant crashed into a hillside here in Calabasas. And as we move this way, we can actually give you a look at the scene of that crash. You can still see the smoking wreckage up there on that ridge. Now we understand from people who were here at the time, res local residents, that it was extremely foggy, the kind of fog that some of them said they have never seen before in this area. Now that of course may well have played a role in this crash. The National Transportation Safety Board uh, is activating a GO team to investigate as you would expect. Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna and seven other people including a pilot were on board a Sikorsky S-76. Uh, we do not know if there may have been, of course, any technical problems with that. Sikorsky has also put out a statement expressing their condolences uh, to the families and all of those affected by the crash, and they have pledged to uh, cooperate in any way necessary with any investigation. Meantime, John, as we take a look across here, the media obviously gathered, as you can imagine, also uh, dozens of fans who have come to the site to pay tribute, to offer their respects uh, to Kobe Bryant, such a legend, obviously, in the game of basketball. There are, I can tell you, hundreds more fans trying to get to this site, uh, but since the beginning of this incident, the police have gradually closed down the surrounding streets, as you can imagine, and are trying to keep people away. There is also a, a growing crowd, as we understand it, downtown LA today at the Staples Center, where, of course, the Lakers play. The Grammys award ceremony is actually on there tonight. That obviously will now pay tribute uh, to Kobe. Many in the field of music playing, paying tribute already on Twitter and other media to the sports legend, John Legend, the musician, among those who saying he simply cannot believe that the world has lost Kobe Bryant. I also want to read you a statement we just got in from Michael Jordan. Magic news of Kobe's and Gianna's passing. Words cannot describe the pain I'm feeling. I loved Kobe. He was like a little brother to me. We used to talk often, and I will miss those conversations very much. He was a fierce competitor, one of the greats of the game, and a creative force. And he, Michael Jordan goes on. Kobe was also an amazing dad who loved his family deeply and took great pride in his daughter's love for the game of basketball. Yvette joins me, Michael Jordan says, in sending my deepest condolences to Vanessa, the Lakers organization, and basketball around the world. An extremely touching tribute, meaningful tribute, from number 23 to number 24, Kobe Bryant, dead today, John, at the age of 41.